This is how to make custom items for the Minecraft Bedrock Edition using Blockbench's Minecraft Item Wizard plugin. To download this plugin on Blockbench, all you have to do is go to File at the top of the page and select Plugins to then search for and select the Minecraft Item Wizard tool. Then all you gotta do is select it in your plugin library and now you get to choose how your item will act. Here's the timestamps for each item type I'll focus on today. However, let's start with a basic melee weapon, as that's a pretty universal item, and we'll use it to show how to change the code of your weapon after you've made your decisions. So, select the sword icon, and you'll be presented with a menu showing the damage that your weapon will do, along with the durability. These options will show up whenever you choose to make a tool, and you can change these to be correct for whatever item you choose to make and then move on to select the icon and 3D model for how this will look. After you do this, you can either add your item to a pre-existing pack you've already made, or make a new one by writing a name and setting an image. I'm just going to add this to my own pack, and now we can move on to model creation. The creation of the model and icon is pretty simple. Just make sure that the model is within this folder, or a folder, to make sure that you can keep track of where the model is. When you're done, make sure to save both the icon and model textures along with their files. Now go into Minecraft and select your pack. And wow, there it is, but this is very poorly placed in my hands, and that's because we didn't set it correctly for the first person view. To fix this, go to Animation within Blockbench, and make sure you're in the correct animation, first person, and set the camera. Now you can simply set the model to be positioned correctly, or you could add a custom animation. Using the timeline, I'm going to have the model remain stationary for around 10 seconds, and then the model will be thrown up and spin in the air before returning to normal. And now in game, every 10 seconds, this weapon will have its own animation. Though I wouldn't recommend using such an animation as this, as this will look a little goofy when, you know, swinging. But let's say I didn't want this weapon to act like a sword and wanted it to break a different type of block, such as stone. We could remake the weapon using the pickaxe template, or we could open Visual Studio Code, which allows us to open the files related to the item, and edit the behavior of the tool directly. And now I can paste this code, which is just the code that the pickaxe would have used for stone, and now our hammer is able to break stone blocks. But look here, it only breaks stone blocks specifically, so you'll have to go into the code and add each type manually. And this isn't just because we chose the sword, the plugin only sets it for 8 blocks, so you'd have to do this anyway if you wanted your pickaxe or item to be able to break certain blocks like obsidian. All you gotta do to allow it to break other blocks is to write the identifier for each block like this, and it should work. Now one of the cool features of the item wizard is that we can have items that will spawn in custom events, such as mobs, lightning, or minecarts, such as with this lightning charge, which works using this code here. If the mob you're trying to spawn is not in the default list, you'll just have to find its identifier and write it there. I use the ender dragon, as boss mobs don't tend to be in the default section, and now I have to kill everything in this world just to get rid of it. So. But what if I want a mob that isn't in default Minecraft, such as this little goober? Uh, well, change the identifier like this, and it should work as long as they are within the same pack. If you want to learn how to make custom mobs, make sure to subscribe as I have a full tutorial on how to do that coming soon.